Welcome back my friends of Wild Rift and welcome to the The Rift Guides Wild Rift video. I've put Volibear always so high on the tier list in multiple roles and I will show you why within this video. There are multiple builds you can go for, you can go for like an AP variant, you can go for a full tank version with hard steel. there are plenty of options you can go for. The typical option would be Trinity Force, hard steel, and Titanic, but this version is more focused about dealing AP damage. But what makes Volibear so broken? Volibear has probably one of the most broken level 5 ultimates you can actually imagine, because he can disable towers which will allow very proactive gameplay by just continuously diving people without having to care about the tower. Not only this, he also features very high base damage, which is probably the most crazy thing about this champion. When he hits you, and when he has uptime on you, you will instantly die, and if you've noticed, any AD carry who gets too close to the Volibear will get mauled to death instantly. And look how he sequences the camps leashing them with the third ability, just trying to be even faster, and just makes it easier for him to snowball even harder through the jungle and an early clear. Also on top, there's something worth mentioning, which you see in the summoner spells department, he has Ghost. So this bear is going to run really fast. With that done, we're looking at a fully completed clear, uh, as per usual. Maybe he goes for a crab before blue, or um, uh, before Grump, sorry. And otherwise he would just go for a full clear, nothing special, and then he just runs down bot laners because bot laners never pay attention to what is happening on the map. Shen, very interesting play by him to just wait on the scuttle crab. He will not use a smite here, he will just continuously do the clear and then he'll say hello to Mr. Shen in the river. Shen will also have smite available, so don't worry, but he is probably gonna deal more. Yep, he gets the smite, he wins. Seraph Lux doesn't really do anything, Fish was really much sleeping and this Shen is going to be dead, there's no way he survives. Uses the flash, Ghost is also popped or was popped by the Volibear. We get a free kill pickup, but the bot lane is snoozing on the job as well. And the Kate lane went a little bit too close to the bear and now he ults up. He gets level 5 with the level up and he just walks away. And yeah, this play was relatively slow by his teammates. I think this could have responded a lot faster to this play. Uh, the bot lane could have also been more aware. I mean, they were not in a very good spot to come, but they still could have looked at what the enemy was doing and maybe respond a little bit faster. Fortunately for him, it turned out to be very good with the level up to level 5. And with that, he was allowed to survive. But that's one of the powerful things about Volibear. Did you see the damage, like the starting situation where the Caitlyn was Giga, high HP, and he was low HP? Just instantly turned around with the power of the ultimate of gaining even more HP and damage, just instantly mauling her, well, to death. Riven is having a fun with Garen up there. Shivana would not be, uh, well, no, that's Jarvan, my bad. Not be entertained. But yeah, Volibear well, back to clearing his jungle, Riven trying to be very much annoying, probably picking up the Scorpion right now. And yeah, with the Scorpion in that lane right, yeah, she picked up the Scorpion and went from a brush as it seems, Garen Giga low HP, and I think he has to actually watch this bot lane right now. He has to look at what is happening, he can't just be in the mode of ignorance is bliss, he has to check. And he's not really doing so, he's just walking there without checking, which is a massive mistake. So he could have been here in a, in a different capacity a little bit earlier. We'll probably still end up getting the kill. Pulls in, gets the free kill pickup. But again, uh, if you're playing jungle, please do yourself a favor and utilize the minimap. Uh, not only the minimap, but also the camera panning. Because you need to see what's going on. And the next issue is this wave will be left in a very terrible state because it will slow push towards the ribbon. So yeah, um, the Garen is not in a very good spot right now, his lane is absolutely doomed, but the question is, can the Volibear do anything about this in the near future? Genko Riven is very difficult without any setup, because it's just a Garen, he just runs at her and Riven just jumps away on cooldown. So, is there much he can do? Not necessarily. But he can at least try, if the, if the Riven tries to freeze, to break this after the next reset, or to maybe look for... Um, Denying a dive if the Riven gets the Garen low enough. Because technically speaking, Garen isn't a champion that gets typically dove, because yeah, uh, he's way too tanky. If he utilizes his second ability well, he just takes no damage. All his lanes are looking kind of grim right now. Very interesting to see that the Fizz has trouble with the Lux, that uh, all he has to do is bait one of her spells, or walk too close and force her to swap the spells, jump into a forward and instantly one shot her. Because yeah, Fizz is just a champion that does it. Okay, they were spotted on a ward, so this play ends now as it seems, unless the enemy bot lane is too stupid. Fizz didn't realize, so he just wastes his time here. Um, because if there was a ward, why would you why would you still try? And for some reason, people really dislike uh, just being efficient with their time. 
Fizz has been running around the map for the last 30 plus seconds, and yeah, it's gonna actually work out because, well, it's Wild Rift, you know? Gets the kill into Caitlyn because he hit the shark. We saw it on the mini map. Ah, oh, the Civic gets the kill. F in the chat. We also get the Shadow Limit, which means this is a free Herald. I don't think that the Riven is strong enough to stop us from doing this. So we have a good time here, pick up the free Herald. The Shen can't really go for the dragon, he is too busy up there fighting, and we get a lot of things here. We can even debate going for enemy jungle camps immediately. We can maybe get a kill onto the Riven, depending what she's doing, we're not looking again, he's hyper-focusing on the mid lane tower. Not really too much of a fan of hyper-focusing. Um, I would rather see and look at my options if there's a possible play, because if I end up killing the Riven, uh, you get so many platings on bot lane for free. And so much more gold. Because the, the dragon itself is completely worthless. You, you'd be better off getting all the camps on the bottom side of the Shen. Because it's far more gold. And since you're already so fed and accelerated. You can just go for it and win for free. Because this is such a flippy play. Gets a kill. Apparently he's not that flippy. Because the bear is just too strong. App apparently the bear just kills everyone on his own. Nobody has to care. I see how it is. Yeah, the bear just doesn't have to care, as it seems he just does everything solo. Interesting. Bro just goes in without a care and just chomps them alive. But you see, um, this is one of the primary strengths of the volleyball. Like, he's also one of the best top laners. He just does so much damage, he cuts the wave so the wave doesn't block the next uh, wave from incoming, so the enemy has to actually fight there. And with the next incoming wave, they are just dead. Like, he's hiding behind the tower, walking up right now, and the fight commences. The Shen ultimate comes in, the clown cut comes in, he starts tanking the tower, so... This play took so long to start, and without ultimate, like he didn't have ultimate at the start, it just took way too long. And now, he has to pay the price. Like, um... From my perspective, I don't think the dragon play was something you should have gone for. It's way too risky for what it gives you, because it's just an individual dragon that nobody cares about. An ocean dragon on top. And with Shen being on the other side of the map, he could have taken the entirety of the bot side jungle, maybe kill the Riven, still have Harold because he, he had Harold for so long, and with killing the Riven, he gets access to the bot lane, like bot lane tower there, and gets so much more gold, and can still place the Harold mid lane, because the enemy has no tool to stop this. And that way, you would have gotten even more gold, even more stronger, and then he could have just completely dictated the game even harder than he's already doing right now. Okay, looking for a potential play bot lane again, has ultimate available, pops the ghost, yeah, this Caitlyn, unless she has uh, any type of assistance, instantly dies, yeah. Just one shot. 150 gold. Ladies and gentlemen, 150 gold into the pocket. Not even worth using cooldowns on. But yeah, maybe his bot lane will now not lose. Maybe. Maybe. But it's just daydreaming, right? Having boots of mana is a different kind of vibe though, no? Because... In jungle, you usually don't have mana issues, correct me if I'm wrong. If there's a Volibear that has mana issues, it's probably the top lane Volibear. Um, but for the jungle department, I have not seen that to be an issue so far. And they just dive the poor guy, and he didn't really pay attention to the dive earlier. So again, um, depending on what you guys want to say, looking proactively at the lanes is something you really need to do. And Shen is so strong as well in the jungle. Like, his global pressure is insane. Also, way because he expects a Riven Flash. Nice, nicely foreseen, by the way. But yeah, Boots of Mana, that's a little bit crazy, if you ask me. Boots of Mana is really messed up. But yeah, it's, uh, I guess, uh, my man is just a crazy gamer. Looking for a play, he has Ghost available. Picks up some fruit, he tries to just taunt, like he just baits them away, but uh, they, they're not getting debated. So yeah, he's left to pick up some uh, minions here. We love picking up minions because they give us millions of gold. Shenult comes in, Lux survives with 1 HP, Depression like comes forward. The healing also comes forward, oh no, so much sadness. Gets one kill though, not a karma, not, I don't really have a frontline. Caitlyn is not really strong enough to do anything about this Volibear. And we still have Ghost ticking, slowly going away now. 
And we have ultimate. If they get too close, like he keeps the passive alive by hitting minions. Jumps forward now, probably. Yeah, he does. And he will instantly kill the Caitlyn and will kill the calm. Oh, no. He will probably die to the tower. Ooh, he doesn't. Okay. Bless. Like, this Volibear just doesn't care. But I, I'm also very reluctant when it comes to playing like this. Because it entails so many risks that you don't have to take. When there are potentially so many better situations that open themselves up to you. But in the end it's Wild Rift. People do crazy things on cooldown. And they try to skill check people on the daily. Well, daily is completely under-exaggerated. It's like on the second. And then if it doesn't work, they're, they're complaining. Classic. But yeah, still showcasing how strong Volibear can be because this champion's damage is quite absurd. As no ghost available, has sadly no ult available as well, so getting towards this dragon is going to be very difficult. Riven turning onto his team. He doesn't really know what's happening because he isn't panning the camera. Focuses the Shen now, focuses what he can do. Has a third ability. Third ability ult combo gets the dragon, so the enemy has no soul condition this game. Um, he will be rooted up for Eons, but he has a lot of DPS, so the Shen needs to be really careful. Pops the shielding, turns around, gets a freak. Oh no, he doesn't get the kill. No, oh, what HP? Yeah. Depression. But personally, honestly, I really much prefer the Heartsteel version of the, the Volibear build. Um, simply because you gain tank stats that are just absurd. And for all the people who say, but you like damage, not really. Trinity Force carries the majority of your damage and your base damage on top. And then you need to see Heartsteel as an investment. Because the moment you upgrade from Heartsteel to Titanic, you have you have an item that infinitely scales while um, then providing your Hydra more damage, more AD, like more on hit damage or like on a certain cooldown. That he just won't, won't have 80 carries. Oh, poor Lux. You are gone. Chomped alive, but has flash. Jumps after. Gets a free kill pickup. Now the Caitlyn needs to really be careful. Ah, uh, but he, he's not tank enough to... He gets the kill. Never mind. The Chomper is back on the move. But the issue is his team is not really up to speed. The Garen is doing typical uh, Garen sideline things. You know how it goes. Um, but the Volibear is falling for one certain thing. Resistances only help you as much as it helps you having health. You need both to become tanky. Because right now he's not necessarily tanky. And this is, I think, primarily a thing that comes down to um, not having Heart Steel and Titanic. Obviously he has more burst damage and more consistent DPS at this time, thanks to Natural Tooth, but he doesn't really have high AD. So the bonus magic damage of Nashus is not going to be that high since he doesn't really have that many stats to empower its damage. Like you see, the honor damage is not really that high compared to um, just your general damage. What does a lot of damage though is uh, the passive. But yeah, um... Volibear is still going to deal a lot of damage and nobody can 1v1 him in this game. Um, if, the, if the enemy team groups up and he gets CC change, he just instantly dies. Uh, the same would uh, probably not apply to the RC Volibear, but it takes a lot longer for him to die. But still, um, this is a very bursty build, so keep that in mind. And he is looking... He is looking to get something done. Enemy team is playing multiple sites on the map for like uh, and fighting multiple sites, which doesn't really make sense. Riven will fall to this. The Shen is on the run. If the Shen dies, then it's a free Nasher for them. So another Karma was here. He gets pulled back with the ultimate of the Karma, and he's just running down. He's just too fast with the Ghost. Looking for a play here. Pops the Smite. Will not have Smite for the Nasher, but this kill pickup will secure another kill pickup with a little Ghost extension, and this Lux will also fall to him. And this will mean... Oh, he expects a flash? Oh, good one. And this means he has an instant baron. Okay, cool. Very nicely done. Very nicely played. Very nicely thought through with the ghost and just running on people. But yeah, the enemy team was certainly griefing by going for that play because it's a very bipolar play. Uh, bipolar play, what does it mean? Uh, if you make a play on the on one side of the map and make a play on another side of the map, 
or don't make a play, you're not achieving anything. So for example, his mid lane, like Karma, Caitlyn, and Lux were pushing. However, Riven and Shen were already engaging into a fight, whereas they can't really do anything on mid lane yet. So if the fight happens, if the fight like if they if the fight happens and they're able to get like tier two or tier three mid lane, while the Shen is walking away, like Shen Riven walk towards their own tower like very far away from the next objective, they're pulling the enemy apart, and by doing so, they're allowing themselves to gain more time hitting the mid lane objective, the tier 2 or tier 3 tower, and the enemy, which is then trying to chase down the Shen the Riven, takes more time to get after them, and then they won't be able to get them killed, like in the mid lane after they kill the Riven and the Shen, and they might have a harder time to go towards Nasher, because it's more, far more away, further away. Yikes. Poor guy, Shen is not the tank he thought he would be. Gets chomped alive by the bear who is hitting like a speed demon. Riftmaker also here. So yeah, this sustain of the, 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 the bear is going to be really crazy. He also has a Magi's, but yeah, we will not talk about the Magi's. It's like the collector. It's bait. It's the bait. It's actually funny how bad Magi's was even on release. People really were like, that's crazy item. Yeah, but what if it's not? Especially in like this kind of meta where everything one-shots, I don't think you want an item that actually loses its value so fast. It's not really a Wild Rift item. Feels bad, man. Has the Trident also in base, which uh, takes away so much of the Shen shielding. Oh yes, the Yumper, the Troll Pole. He escapes certain death with the Troll Pole. Stay mad, Caitlyn. Bozo. Man, this Volibear is going to deal so much damage. He is so thick. Now picks up the Trident. Has a Trident in base. Okay. Time to continue. And he'll have a beautiful time chomping these people alive with uh, all the damage. How does he have- how does it show Magi stacks if he doesn't have Magi's? Huh? How? Why does it show Magi stacks? I don't understand. Is it- is it an- is it an overlay? He just has an overlay that shows Magi stacks. You are getting scammed, broskies. What is that? What a scammer. But yeah, now he picked up Rabadon. Because yeah, it's AP Volibear. It's Crackhead Gaming. Now this Shen is uh, arguably very tanky. How much... Uh, how many defenses does he have? <laughs> Look at the zaps. Oh my god, just instantly kills that one. Turns around, pop. Oh my god, the damage. And yeah, this Volibear is angry. These zaps of his... Um, Lightning passive, heal him for so much. Like, the auto animation can't even go through. Uh oh. Nexus is a little bit, uh, a little bit powerful, and the typical, uh, trap into Caitlyn. Oh, please, let me, let me see you hit the, the minions with your passive. Please stack up and walk back in just for fun. Ah, oh, he's not walking back in for fun. Feels bad, man. Two objectives available at the same time. Three enemies dead, but the Shen spawns in a few seconds, can maybe teleport onto somebody with his ultimate ability. So it, it, the game is not yet over. They might get Nasher with the Nasher, they might get an extension of the game. Oh, they fail in doing so. What about secures the Nasher? Riven is just scouting here, surveying the crabs, one might say. Shen ulti. Is it what's a Shen ulti? Yeah, Shen just ulted onto the Riven for zero reason. I don't really understand why, outside of just gaining position. But yeah, you're not gaining position, you're not gaining anything, my bro. Passive being stacked, Volibear attacking so lightning fast. Pulls out the Elder Dragon, gets the full reset on his passive. Shen dashing forward, dealing good damage here. Turns onto the Karma, Lily one shots the Karma, gets, takes so much damage, so much damage in the game, and he can't really target anything. But Soraka is doing Soraka things and keeps everyone alive. Ghost is still running, he's just chomping away at the Elder Dragon, his teammates are still alive, but just barely. There's so many Caitlyn traps without any sense laying around, it's just funny. Like, everywhere is a Caitlyn trap, but what is the Caitlyn trap trying to accomplish? What path are you warding off, my, my G? 
What is the move here? And Wallabear is just uh, clearing all the wards and then just picks up this lovely Elder Dragon. There's no way it's getting stolen, am I right? Caitlyn has no chance. Yeah, Caitlyn just dies. Four people dead. The fight extended for 15 hours longer than the game was actually going on. And this way they will end the game. They just run on mid lane and there's no more hope. Damn, that's a thick shield. 1038 shielding. That is a thick as hell shield. And yeah, with that, we're at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out that channel in the description below. And we see each other for more Rift content very soon. They'll also show, as per usual, the typical builds at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Take a look at them. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment. If you want to support us, check out our Patreon. Our website is in beta phase, so it doesn't always work wonderfully. We're adding more builds there, we are adding more sections there, so over time we'll get more content and you can directly support us by subbing to it. It's the same value of a Twitch sub, unless I think they made Twitch, I don't know, no, I think they made Twitch subs cheaper. So my bad, it's a little bit more expensive than a Twitch sub, but yeah, feel free to do this. And other than this, see you for more Rift Guides content very soon. Farewell.